so guys this tutorial is a continuation of my uh, tutorial on functions so if you don't know about functions uh, uh, you can uh, see my previous video that is uh, functions part 1 okay uh, in this tutorial we will study about recursion or, or the recursive functions so what is a recursive function when a call to a function is made uh, made from the same function that type of function is known as a recursive a recursive function so suppose that i have a function like this int i can have a some function name as abc suppose and this is my body of my function and inside this function i am calling again abc so a call to the function is made from inside the function so uh, this type of function is known as rec uh, recursive function uh, you might be thinking that uh, if i do this way my function would go in go in a infinite loop as in it's again and again calling itself so always uh, the important thing in recursive function is a breaking condition so what's a breaking condition okay it's a condition based on which your function would terminate as in the terminating condition you can't go in an infinite loop as in you want your function uh, function or a program to terminate uh, so you need a breaking condition okay let's write a function to uh, print the numbers from 1 to 10 using uh, recursion we have done using loops but uh, let's try this using recursion I'll just open a new file print 1 to 10 using recursion okay I'll write my first my basic structure okay I'll write a recursive function I'll give it a name print okay since the function would ret not return any value so I'll have a return type as void void print I'll pass it an par parameter as n, say in 10. Okay. So as I said that uh, the most important thing in recursive function is this breaking condition. So I'll have a breaking condition that if the number n is greater than 10, it must uh, come out of uh, come out of the function. That, that means it must terminate the function. So I'll write if n greater than 10 I must return okay so okay since the return type is void I'll just write return I'm not returning any value okay so now what if the f uh, value of n is less than 10 as in from 1 to 10 any value so I'll have this statement print printf statement I'll have percentage d a backslash n comma i n sorry I'll print n and what what after printing n I'll just uh, in increment the value of n by one I'll have n plus plus okay I incremented the value of n by one now I'll again call this function print to value mm, I'll call this function print to print the new value of n so I'll pass the parameter as n okay okay from the main function I'll call the print function print I'm passing here one uh, since I must start with one the printing of numbers so let's save this file first I'll give it a name recursion okay okay it's properly compiled Compile. Yeah. okay we are getting the numbers from 1 to 10 1 to 10 so in this way we uh, we wrote a program to 
print numbers from 1 to 10 using recursion okay yeah so this program was actually quite simple to write using recursion uh, let's uh, write a new program to find the factorial of a number uh, that also using recursion so I'll just open a new file okay we'll write a factorial of a number so everyone might be knowing what's fact what factorial is as in uh, f uh, 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 uh, 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 120 so we'll write this uh, program to find a factorial of a number using recursion so I'll quickly write my st uh, st basic structure Okay, before writing a factorial function, let's first see how do we find a factorial of a number. Suppose I need a factorial of 5. So 5 factorial is actually equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay, what's 4 factorial? 4 factorial is equal to 4 into 3 uh -uh, 4 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 yeah. uh, so can I write this way 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 factorial 5 into 4 factorial ok see here we have 5 factorial 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 but this part this part is actually 4 factorial so, can I, so I can have uh, 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 factorial uh, similarly we'll uh, simulate this in our function of what we'll have we'll have a function factorial so I have int fact and we are passing a number int n n is the number whose factorial we need to find so how we found the factorial of 5 it's uh, 5 into 4 factorial 4 factorial so how would we find of the factorial of n it would be n into n minus 1 factorial so we'll have n into factorial of n minus 1 the way we find 5 factorial it was 5 into factorial of 4 so for n factorial we'll have n into factorial of n minus 1 okay so we'll just keep uh, for some time this way okay when we must stop uh, this uh, we must stop when the value of n becomes equal to 1 so so we'll have a breaking condition in this way we'll write if n is equal to equal to 1 I must return 1 okay and if n is not equal to 1 we are doing n in n star factorial of n minus 1 okay as this factorial fact function returns me the factorial of the number that is factorial of n so I must return this value as in return n star factorial of n minus 1 uh, since here we had 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 factorial so similarly we are writing here as n factorial we are returning I'll n factorial so returning we are returning n factorial is equal to n star fact of n minus 1 so this same statement we just generalized and wrote it here ok so now we will find the fact suppose from the main function I am calling this fact function we will find the factorial of phi so I will have a print statement uh, stating factorial of phi is percentage d comma f 
okay let's save this file I'll give it a name factorial hmm. okay let's execute a file okay it's throwing some error okay yeah it's printf so I'll execute it again yeah so factorial of 5 is 120 yeah 5 into 4 is 20 into 3 uh, 16 to 2 yeah 120 uh, let's find the factorial of 4 so 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 4 3 is 12 or 12 into 224 so we must get the output as 24 so let's see compile and run okay yeah factorial of 4 is 24 okay let's manually find out how this uh, factorial function works okay the we are finding the factorial of uh, 4 so first call is fact of 4 so it's checking is 4 equal to equal to 1 uh, that's false so it would return n into that is 4 into factorial of 3 so it's returning 4 star fact of 3 so now factorial of this function that is factorial of 3 would run so again this would return 3 into uh, it would return 4 star fact of 3 would be 3 star fact of 2 so now fact of 2 will be performed so we will have 4 star 3 4 into 3 into 2 into fact of 1 so when we have factorial of 1 that is fact of 1 uh, we have n is equal to equal to 1 so we are returning 1 so instead of fact 1 we will have 4 star 3 star 2 star 1 so this value has been written that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is how the recursion function works this entire thing okay so yeah that's all uh, on this tutorial on recursion see you in the next uh, next tutorial please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you